Do you ever just sit back and think maybe I coin roll hunt too much? Nah. Hey guys, Quinn here. What we're gonna be doing this week is something a little bit different. We're gonna be taking it all the way back to February of 2016 when I filmed my very first penny box hunt. I have been sitting on this footage for almost seven years at this point, and I think it's finally time to bring it to light. Now, I think this video is particularly interesting because I was looking for copper pennies in the rolls, something that I don't do anymore, and it's very weird that I was doing it back then considering that copper was at a 10-year low at around $2 per pound, whereas copper today is sitting at $3.76 per pound. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this Quinn's Coins Lost Hunt. Do you ever just sit back and think maybe I coin roll hunt too much? Nah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to 3.Not. Today I got a box of pennies and this is uh, my second box of pennies. The first box of pennies that I had produced a lot of really old Canadian coins and a few wheat pennies, but uh, I just opened this up and check this out. Here's the box. I just opened it up and took a look at what was in here and uh, right here I saw a, uh, there's a 1951 penny there. That's a, a 1951 Canadian. So, uh, just like the last box, it looks like there's going to be some older Canadians in here. Uh, and then there's a, there's a 63 there that looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, uh, I'm excited to get into this box, see what we got. And, uh, I think I'm going to count the, uh, copper as well. Um, try to see what kind of percentage we're getting out of this box. You're probably going to watch the copper grow as we go. At the end, we'll roll up all the copper into the rolls and, uh, see what we get out of there. So first roll, first wheat penny. And it's a 1951D. So that's pretty nice. On to the next roll. Just got to the roll that had the old Canadian penny on the end of it. So let's take a look at this one. 1951. And that's uh, King George there. King George the sixth, I believe. Yep. So that's pretty cool. I just came across my first foreign coin out of this box. Never seen one of these before. It's kind of beat up, but it's a uh, 2001. It says one cent with a starfish on the back. And uh, if you can. See that there? It actually says uh, Bahamas. Commonwealth of the Bahamas. So that's a cool little piece. Never uh, seen one like that before. We'll keep looking. But finally, after going through quite a few more rolls, this roll is looking really good for a couple reasons. Reason number one. Right here. 1953 D wheat penny. And then, not just one, but it looks like over here, we have another one. What's it gonna be? 1956 D. See if there's any more in here. Well, just, just more uh, copper pennies and a little zinc. Here's an old uh, Canadian one here. It's a 1964. That's pretty neat. No wheats in this roll, but uh, we did get something that I haven't actually seen yet, and that's 2016 penny. Um, it's the first one I've seen, and it's weird to see it mixed in with all these circulated coins. So maybe they've been out for a while. And uh, we actually got two of them. So here's another one. But uh, yeah, let me know if you've seen these yet in your uh, coin roll hunting endeavors. Um, I'm sure that if you're from Canada, you haven't seen one because they don't exist. Sorry guys, but uh, you just don't have pennies anymore. 
Real quick, I just wanted to add on to that last thing I said about you, guys, you Canadians out there. I know you guys won't be seeing a 2016 Canadian penny. Well, sorry about that. Anyways, I just opened another roll and I pulled out another wheat penny, 1958. And looks like we got a second one in this roll. Seems kind of hit or miss with these things. And this one's really scratched up, but it's a 1945. Next roll in, we got another wheat penny. Let's take a look at the date on this one. That's a 1941, oldest one we got so far. With the rolls dwindling down, we got ourselves another old Canadian. This one's pretty cool looking. And the year is a 1946. So again, to all you Canadians out there, if you're looking for Canadian pennies, the US is the place to find them. As a matter of fact, it's probably one of the only places to find them still in circulation. So it's pretty cool to be finding those old Canadians. These are like Canadian wheat pennies pretty much. Well, I almost missed this thing. It looks uh, really dirty. Might not have even seen it. I didn't see the back, but uh, it's a wheat penny. And it looks like it's a 1940. Nice. Alright, so after going through the entire box of pennies and pulling all the copper out, this is what we ended up with. So you can see that we got some pretty different amounts from each roll with uh, looks like just uh, six or seven on that roll there. And uh, over here we got a pretty big stack. But uh, I'm gonna roll these all up and we're gonna see how much copper we got in total. So there you have it. There's the copper all rolled up. I uh, just reused a bunch of the rolls that I got the pennies out of. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and almost six dollars and fifty cents a penny this one's almost full so that totals to be about 26 percent copper out of the uh, entire box which is really not that bad for uh doing these pennies i thought it was at least fun to roll up the copper and uh, see how much we could get out of this box and it's really cheap too uh hunting pennies you can get a box of pennies for 25 dollars. so if you're looking to start into this hobby right now um pennies is a great place to start. All right, so with that being said, let's uh, take a look at the better finds. So to start off here, we got our pile of uh, Canadian pennies here. And as you can see, we get quite a few of them uh, up in Michigan, right on the border there with uh, Canada, real close by. So it makes for some interesting finds. I know a lot of people like uh, finding stuff like this. It's uh, 1964, you know, just older stuff and some newer stuff as well. Up here we got uh, quite a few 2016 coins and it's uh, late February of 2016 so it's about the time that these things should be showing up. But I was surprised to find them in a circulated roll so uh, that was interesting to find. I'll probably hold on to those for now. And then we got uh, 10 uh, 2009 pennies which I've never even uh, seen in circulation before so you know I guess if you go through enough of them uh, you're going to find some. But uh, you can see the different designs there. And the reason these are special is because uh, for some reason they didn't make very many of them. And moving on here to the uh, wheat pennies now. I'm going to start with the uh, newest year, which is 1958. And then we got a 56, 53, 51, 45, 41 and a really dirty uh, 1940. And then we got uh, two of the older um, Canadian pennies here. This one's a 1951, and this one's gonna be a 1946. And uh, other than Canadians, we also got another uh, foreign coin. You saw before it says uh, Bahamas on it here. The Commonwealth of the Bahamas, 2001. 
one cent piece with the starfish on it. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, remember, whether it's big or small, above all, do something. I'm Ryan, and this is 3.Not, signing out.